I've been doing a pretty good job at keeping you guys up to date with all these new projects we have and all the out of state stuff we're doing. But what I haven't done, and shame on me, is I haven't been keeping you up to date with what we have going on here locally. I'm Rebecca Robeson, interior designer, businesswoman, and mother. Join me as I take you through my projects, my life, and what keeps me driven to design. Very oh, neat I idea. Like yeah. Cool. This is actually phase two of a project that we did a few years ago. Phase one was completed in 2012 where we took their average ho-hum tract home family room and we turned it into something absolutely amazing. The clients loved it so much. They've asked us to come back and do some more. I'm gonna use my old friend, Dr. Electric, for some clinical support. And right now, we're just about ready to give a presentation to our client to show her exactly what I have in store for the room. Here's what I wanna show you, is some different fabrics. Selecting fabrics, in my opinion, is one of the most important parts of a room design. It's actually where I start. The color palette, the texture and the design of the materials we use sets the direction for the design overall. That is really, really, really good. Well, my question is how durable is Well, this? let's see what this says. This is not durable at all. It's just expensive. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's really where everything begins. Perfect. at the Laguna Design Center in Laguna, California, and today's mission, should I choose to accept it, is shopping. I choose, I choose. It's actually serious business because I'm up here to find some special pieces for my project. The real challenge in doing this sort of thing is you have to keep in your mind everything that you're putting in that room. You can't exactly carry everything with you. Hello, I got a drawer, right? I need to get gray and yellow pillows. This is cute. Do you have more gray and yellow pillows? I will look. I am not a diva. So I've got to stay focused and keep good inventory of my tools. Let's go to the next place. To electronics. Two classes, keys, and paper. I need more pockets. I'm doing a man's rowing club look. Mm, no. A little too traditional. Yeah, yeah, it is. But thank you. Oh, I love this. This is really cute. Wow. Those are really cool. Swing arms. When you're playing a game, you can pull it out and you can put your chips in here or your cheat sheet, or your candy. And then you can put your glass on here too. The only problem is if you forget and you close it while your glass is on there, the game is all over. One more time. You need to put some clothes on. I think I'm getting my second win. We've lost my other glasses. <laughs> They're not on my head. Look at that. What would that be for, like, pool balls or something? Do I have other things? Wow. I thought maybe I found my glasses. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. Focus because, you know, got a camera. All right, I have to get work done. What's this? It's always so much fun to receive old-fashioned letters from some of my viewers, and sometimes gifts. Do you remember what Adrian made for me? Hey, Rebecca. Does I may room for free? Dear Mrs. Robeson, I love, Shutterline Love, capitalized. 
all of your YouTube videos. You're so creative. I've been working on sketches for my new room and started watching some of your videos for inspiration. So even though you can't help me make my room in person, I want you to know that you definitely helped me online. And if you have time, could you please send me an autograph? <laughs> thank you, Jillian. That was so sweet. Seriously, thank you. You guys remember this house, right? Well, we're back and we're building a pool house on that amazing terrace. Is that Todd? I thought I heard Todd's voice. Yeah, how's it going, Mark? All right, fine. We're meeting with Todd. Todd's gonna be our architect on this project. We're also gonna meet with Andy, who is back again as the general contractor on this project. Would you prefer to close this entrance to the terrace, or would you prefer to have two ways to get up there? Okay, so here's what I have to do. I have to decide, do we get rid of like one side access so that we can make room for this structure? Or potentially we could, well, I don't really wanna think about the potential of what we could do because I'm just sure that when I show this to my clients, they're gonna love it. We probably won't cook yeah. up there, but we will carry food. Right, yes. Yeah. Right. And we'll I have think you should put in a dumbwaiter. Oh, that'd be cool. You know what a dumbwaiter is? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Now that would be a neat feature. We could take it from the grotto underneath and bring it on up into the kitchen. So the next and hopefully last issue is the support columns for the structure. Todd's drawings have them as like incredibly huge columns. That is just too stinking big. All right, so the size of these columns, my base is 17 inches. Mine are much skinnier than yours. Do you want two foot? I mean, those no, are like no, no, no. That, ginormous. That's, that, that's just from a manufacturer. Beefy. We don't want them that big. I think they get big too. I mean, I, I agree with you, Rebecca. So I think it's going to steal now if that was on the I mean, six that's, that's big. Yeah. That's a really chunky. Yeah. And you do that on all of those up there? Yeah. You're going to look like you're trying to hold up the Coliseum. Right. Okay, so you had kind of pulled it back. Maybe you saw that dashed line and thought that was the setback. That's just the roof overhang above. We're, we're on the setback. Okay. Well, this is what I want it to look like. You make it work. Okay. <laughs> Isn't that our agreement? Yeah. <laughs> Let's all I understand our job descriptions. Yeah. <laughs> I just love my job. But honestly, I feel really blessed to have a great team to collaborate with on this project. I know it's going to be amazing. You don't want me to back up a little more, do you? <laughs> Show us what 20 looks like. <laughs> Can't believe it. We're yeah. going to have to move the walkways and the railings and all these walls. We got some elevations to deal with, and we're going to probably have to get rid of the glass wall. It's not going to be a simple addition, but we're going to make it fun. Well, at least for you guys. Are you guys excited to see what I have for the terrace, what I've come up with? I'm going to show you right now, but you got to leave me a thumbs up. Not only has this got the most incredible view I've ever seen in my life, so you can hardly go wrong, but it's also very, very inviting. We were able to take this space and vastly improve the living elements in it. At the top, you'll see we have a kitchenette. It's just a small one. It's just for the basics. There'll be a dishwasher. It's just for entertaining. I was able to create a bathroom on one side and a kitchenette on the other, but in the center, there's a covered living space with a retractable awning, as you see here. You'll see that I use the same columns that are currently in the architecture of the home, but I created something a little bit more modern and a little more interesting. I added wood paneling to the ceiling and corbelled beams. There's curtains that can be closed when it's more windy. We have the television extended right now, but normally that's down. It's on a hydraulic lift. I was able to create a really lovely bathroom. It's a luxury bathroom actually, with a custom vanity, a round mirror, an amazing pendant light that goes over the center of the mirror, and then these double doors, pocket doors that go back into the wall, and they're made out of louvers. So it's very airy and kind of tropical at the same time. As you come back outside, you might want to go lay out in the sun. So the clients are allowing me to pull that terrace 
forward on the roof line, add a sectional sofa, a beautiful fire bowl with diamond glass, and four chaise lounges for sunning. Leave me a comment below. Tell me, if you were in that jacuzzi, what show would you watch? I like, I want to say Scoundrel, but it's not that. Scandal. Scandal. That's like my favorite show these days. <laughs> it's not Scoundrel. That's embarrassing. All right. So looking back, can you get the picture and the vision for what this upper terrace is going to look like? I hope so. And come back and see how this thing comes together, because I promise you, you will not be disappointed.